Hi, it's Leslie, Sister Wives, and it's the holiday season, and we have more holiday joy. Not. Cody has hit his rock bottom. At least, this seems like rock bottom, but you know what? There's always next week, so you never know. I'm in this bad place with Janelle, and Christine's gone. Don't even know what to do with Mary. And even with Robin kind of feeling like I've been pretty much grouch for two years. Two years? Two years he's been like this? What did I miss? I feel like... This just happened, but two years and she's still around. God bless these women for hanging in. I mean, they are taking their their vows to a whole new level. You know, very, very committed they are. Oof. Yeah, Cody is in a mess. He is in a bad place. I have to agree. If I were him, I'd be a little bummed out too. The whole beautiful polygamous dream is just crumbling around him. And he is becoming, by default, a monogamist. You know, which... uh by, all, by anybody else's standards, would be a wonderful thing. You know, we don't have a lot of monogamy anymore. But if you want my opinion on this, which maybe you do, maybe you don't, I feel like what has destroyed Cody is the whole dream, but I feel like it's almost like the value is in the kids. It's like your worth is how many offspring you produce, but for those offspring to be like valid and good offspring, you have to have a relationship with them, you know? And if he he's lost... Christine, and now he's going to lose Janelle. They actually have the bulk of the kids. Between them, they have 12 kids. And those 12 kids are siding with their moms. And it's like, so he's lost his empire by losing just two people. Because they are all, they all go with the wives. They go with the moms. The moms that have been there through thick and thin throughout it all. Alrighty now, but uh, it's not just Cody that's in a bad place. Janelle is reeling. Reeling with... Uh, just the fear of what has happened to her, what has she done to her life, and what is going to happen to her life now. I'm pretty depressed about it. Never in a million years did I think I would get in this position. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Financially, I have nothing. Christine had the house. I have nothing. Um, my name is on property with everybody else. Probably nobody will cooperate now and play ball. <laughs> I can't believe I'm 50 and I can't even do my own thing because I I'm so tied up with them financially and I can't do anything and this is just so annoying because I feel like this is just part of the the scheme is that you get these women basically just you know kind of look over here squirrel you know look at your kids all the things while I kind of run run the world run the money run all the things and you're not paying attention enough and by the time you actually look up from changing that diaper or when they send the kids off to college and you look up you realize holy shit all my money is gone it's tied up in this stuff and I don't need, I have nothing and I'm stuck it's a big sinister plan and Janelle has left herself in a pickle because she says she has nothing. And this is just so bizarre. I mean, I'm like, hold up, hold up, nothing? They're on a semi-popular show. I mean, it's popular in my mind. I mean, I love the show, but I don't know how popular it is, TLC. There's got to be money. None of them are married to Cody, so it's not like they could say, like, you know, they're married and your money goes into the unit and you get half and all this. They're not married to him. Only Robin's married to him. So they, the money has to be going into their pockets. Where is the money? Don't they have accountants? There's show money. I mean, this is Hollywood or wherever they freaking film this, you know? I mean, there's got to be a money. How does she not have any of that money? I understand she's lost all the family money. The way you had to get the family money out is you needed to buy a house and have that house in your name. And it's funny how she set Robin up for that nicely with a nice big old house. And Christine luckily got that little house money. But Janelle, I mean, she got, it sounds like she paid for it too. She got the camper. She got the freaking camper. I know. So this is all just confusing to me. Uh, the money question. Like, where's all, all the money? Because, you know, as the show goes on and gains popularity, you renegotiate that deal, you get more and more of a better situation. They're 10 years into this crap. I mean, they must be having to get a good, a good deal, I'm thinking. I have questions. Anyway, so Janelle's in that mess, and Cody and Janelle have not talked since the big fight. Neither of them want to call. He has not reached out to his remaining child that is, I guess, young enough to be with her. Nope. Not having it, not budging, he's sticking his ground, he's a bum, he's a jerk, your kids should come first, Cody, you're a bum. Uh, and sadly, and then, so the girl, there she is, you know, expendable, because she's just like, you know, I'm, a, I'm one of, actually I've learned, it's 6, 6, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, it's 18 kids, 15 of which are his. 
I did find out the kid count. Um, so he's probably like, what's another one to lose? You know, I got a few more. I got Robins now. But anyway, if you're obsessed with this nonsense as much as I am, please subscribe or hit like on the video. Anything, do anything. I will appreciate it all because I am just so into this and I follow it every week. You know, that's what I do. I'm such a full life I do. But all the misery and dark places, that aside, we did learn some interesting information about polygamy. And you know, I'm always up for learning about this nonsense, you know. And we learned how polygamous, it's the polygamous pickup line. You know, no, they're not swiping left, swiping right. They're not going out to the bar. Hey, can I buy that lady a drink over there? Send her a nice little Cosmo. No, they're not doing any of that stuff. None of that crap. This is how it's done. It's improper for a man to be out chasing wives. It's generally a woman approaches a family and says, look, I feel like I've had a spiritual revelation that maybe I belong in your family. Alrighty then. Learn something every day. So that's how it's done, respectably, to worm your way into this joyous family that I'm sure they're just lining up at the door to get into. You know, yeah. Anyway, let's just press on. It is the holiday season and they're all celebrating separately. You know, Janelle's over there with her crew. Christine's over there with her crew. Everyone's doing their own thing. And Cody is miserable over with Robin. And it's so bizarre to me because as if I feel like he's like, this is the person he supposedly loves, but she's not enough either. So I'm question. I don't even think he even loves her. I think he's the most attracted to her maybe, but he is, he doesn't love any of these people because he loves the scene because he's stuck with her and he's miserable, you know, and Mary's over there like just, ugh. You know, and they got the five kids. I have to say the two little ones are very cute that are Cody's actual biological. I can't think of who they are, Ariel and the boy, but they were very cute. They're very cute. All right, but this little, this little situation was very confusing to me. Um, there they all are, Cody, Robin, the five kids, and Mary, you know, the wing, the wing woman. It's probably very awkward for Mary this is mine and Robin's house. Robin and I always have to tone down our romantic tension completely. I know that it's different for Mary and Cody. Out of respect for her and out of love for her, I'm careful. Romantic tension? Ew. But anyway, okay, I digress. Let's stay focused. This is very crazy to me because now he's saying about, you know, like we have so much romantic tension that we have to tone it down. And I'm sitting there thinking, wait a second, haven't you existed in that romantic tension for like 25 years or 22 years or whatever it is? I would think he's learned that just being a polygamist. You're like if you're sitting there and you have your three wives, you can't be snuggling up to one. Hey, you, you know, it's your night to stay over. You want to get lucky? You know, like you can't be doing that with your two other wives. So he must have learned this, this etiquette of like, just like not showing emotion with the other wives there. Why all of a sudden now he's like, it's really an effort. We have to consciously think about it. No, this should have been learned behavior. You should have been doing this all along, except for the fact, you know what? He had no romantic attention romantic he had no romantic tension with any of those other three so there was nothing to curb he hadn't he didn't have to do anything because he was just like ew I, I i there's nothing i don't really care you know but with robin he actually has attraction so he has to like worry you know actually think about who's seeing it which is mary i don't know it's just very bizarre because that should have been so ingrained in his way of living the polygamous life that you're not offending any of the wives and being affectionate to one when the others are there i just thought that was very weird and it's so nice that he's he's being considerate because it seems like that is not really how i would uh classify cody as a considerate person but i guess robin is bless robin she's an angel <laughs> being considerate of mary <laughs> so this was a crazy one i feel like i feel like this is his rock bottom i mean you get angry and you just want to like do evil things and bad things and you know we've all been there where you're just kind of like mad at god and mad at the situation you're just like whatever um i think it get it could get a whole lot worse i think he might get really really crazy out there and i'm sure he has the means to do it because lord knows he's like popular and you know but anyway he's made no headway with any of his kids and again we've got to learn that word mea copa you know you learn lots of things with this show and we learn that latin i still don't know what it means but it is said every single week and um there you go but anyway i follow this every week so please subscribe but if you like it even a little bit please hit like on the video and i will see you next week bye